here's what I'm doing today. Hey guys, Phil here. Thanks for joining me. I recently hit the benchmark of 100 YouTube subscribers and I am ecstatic. I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been supporting, watching the channel, and subscribing. So today I've decided I'm going to spend $100 on myself to celebrate, which believe it or not, is kind of difficult for me because I'm just kind of a frugal person. Anytime I make a purchase, I research a ton and I just, you know, overthink it and most of the time I end up not spending money. So regardless, today I decided I am going to reward myself with that and that is going to be the challenge of the day. Boom. By the way, I think I've decided that even though I've tried it a few times, you know, going out to eat by myself in a restaurant, I just still think it's really awkward and it's just not for me. So I went ahead and got this to go. So I'm going to go to my studio to eat it there where I'm more comfortable. So, so far I've spent $9.08. So I guess that means I've got $90.92 left to spend. Studio is my happy place. Okay, let's do the math. Since you started the weekly vlog back in June, it's only taken you 17 weeks to get to 100 subscribers. At your current average of four subscribers a week, it'll only take you 225 weeks to hit that sweet thousand subscriber milestone so you can get monetized. Wait, 225 weeks? That's over four years, loser. Maybe it turns out that nobody likes watching you have a midlife crisis on the YouTube interwebs. Starting Route 2 Bass Pro Shops. Decided to come to Bass Pro and see if they can buy a shirt or something, but uh, considering I'm a cheapskate, I'm not sure how that's gonna go. I enjoyed walking around and looking, but I'm just not feeling it, so I didn't buy anything, and on top of that, it's really expensive. I guess that's just part of me being frugal, you know? Well, I still have this idea in my head that maybe I'll buy a shirt or something, so I think I know a place that's a little bit more of my jam. Sorry, I had to see that. Okay, so while I was in there, I went ahead and just took care of my flu vaccine. So that's another thing off my to-do list. So basically I ended up buying some nice house shoes, which believe it or not, I have a really hard time finding. I always find them and they're either really ugly, but they're comfortable, or they're 
you know, like really nice looking, but they don't fit right at all. So, and while I was there, I decided to get myself a new soda drink. I'm not too big on it, but I'm a Dr. Pepper fan, and that's one of those urges I'm always kind of battling. But I guess this is supposed to be maybe uh, like Dr. Pepper, so I thought I'd treat myself. So, with that being said, I spent around 20 bucks. Let's see, $20.16. And so tally that up with the nine dollars and eight cents I spent earlier, and I've only spent thirty-seven twenty-four. That tastes nothing like Dr. Pepper. It is kind of growing on me, though. I really had my heart set on finding a shirt today. So I'm trying one more place. I'm here at Kohl's and if I don't find a shirt here, I'm just going to give up that uh, endeavor. So on that note, I'm just going to enjoy my soda a little bit more and go shopping. This looks promising. Okay, that's more like it. Three shirts, 31 bucks, 32 cents. Mr. Beast. 322 million subscribers. Turn left onto South Campbell Avenue. Shut up. You know the expression, comparison is the thief of joy? Well, it really is true. What are the chances that I would see that today? of all days. Well guys, thanks for coming along and helping me celebrate 100 subscribers. So I ended up spending $89.49. Uh, I'll probably just take that balance and tomorrow morning when the stock market opens, I'll put that towards something. In time, it'll probably just pay off today's little escapade. Okay, so with that being said, uh, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. I look forward to catching up with you guys next time.